Hello to you. My name is Maria Kwanjelska and this is Poland Daily Culture. And today we'll talk about Polish movies, but before the war. That such kind of cinematography in Poland existed, though some might not remember it. And here with me is Michał Pienkowski, a filmographer and an expert in the movies before the war. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Hello. And I would like to talk today about the movie call, which is The Call of the Sea, which I'm not sure if any of our viewers actually watched it. So please tell us everything about it, and especially the fact that the uh, Polish film archives are doing the reconstruction of this, of this movie. Yeah, indeed. A couple of years ago, we worked uh, on restoration, digital restoration of this movie. But I think the most interesting fact about it is that it was produced by Maria Hirschbein. She was uh, the first Polish woman filmmaker and uh, producer. Uh, it was very interesting, very brave and very self-confident woman. She wasn't afraid of risk. Uh, in this period, uh, Polish cinema had some kind of star system. People didn't go to cinema to watch the movie, but to see the star, the favorite. And uh, in this uh, period, it was very difficult uh, for new actors to uh, have their debut. And Maria Hirschbein wasn't afraid of it. Uh, she did this risk, he, she took this risk, and she gave an opportunity to new actors, to new directors, to have their debut and to uh, start their, their career. And Call of the Sea is one of such movies, almost all cast of this movie, uh, were beginners. Uh, director also, it was a very early uh, film of uh, Henryk Szaro, director, and uh, most of main roles were performed by, by new actors. I would say people who are not recognizable today, neither, maybe by the experts, but, <laughs> but not by the broad audience. So why is this movie also very, um, uh, why is it important? It was very new. In this period, I mean in the uh, middle 20s in Poland, cinema was quite archaic. Uh, our movies made in the middle 20s uh, looked a little bit like uh, Western productions made 10 or even 15 years before. And Maria Hirschbein, who was the leader of Leo Film uh, Company, she was something new in Polish cinematography, uh, something fresh, and this movie is one of the first Polish movies with new actors, with new director, and with something new. New kind of set, new kind of filmmaking, everything in this, in this movie was very modern in comparison in other Polish uh, movies from this period. And it shows also uh, Gdańsk from um, in this time. So I would say it's plays also part of the commentary, isn't it? Because when we, when we can see the real Gdańsk as it looked before the war. And the most, uh, the even more um, uh, interesting is Gdynia. Gdynia, which was established as a town uh, just a few years before. It was just building, and in this movie we can see the seashore with building a uh, very new town of Gdynia, and it's very unique. I think it's one of the earliest uh, film image of Gdynia. Very interesting. So please tell us a little bit more about the reconstruction. How did you manage to get this, I mean, this new freshen up look of the movie? For us, it was very, very exciting because uh, before this restoration, this movie wasn't known at all. Only some short fragments were available, but who screens the fragments of the movie? So it wasn't screened for many, many decades. Uh, happily, uh, two prints of this movie uh, survived, and uh, we held it in our uh, archive. One of them is the original pre-war Polish version of this movie, another one is Russian. So some parts of this film uh, survived only in Russian versions. Silent movies had uh, intertitles with uh, narration, with dialogues, so we had to retranslate them back to Polish from Russian, and it was very difficult because Polish language in this uh, period of cinema was very poetic, very pathetic, and Russian was very strict, very short, so those Polish titles translated to Russian were totally different. Moreover, Russians had the style of translating. They didn't care that much about original, they care about Russian translation. So uh, in some cases it was totally different than original. So when we had to translate it back, 
we weren't so sure how it should be translated. So you even kind of put the element of creation to this movie. You, Definitely. You, so it At is all, a new ver uh, version restoration of, of film is kind of creation because uh, in many cases we are not 100% uh, sure, sure that <laughs> how to did it, how to make it, how it was uh, made before. I would say that there is probably no one lives uh, f that's seen this movie in 1923, so you cannot that's be. That's the problem, and moreover, because of Second World War and the situation in Poland, we don't have any original documentation for this movie. So all we have is those uh, prints, which is which are incomplete. And another uh, very difficult situation was about colors. Uh, this film was colored, tinted uh, originally, and this Polish print is original tinted version, but this Russian is black and white. So some parts of this movie were black and white, and we had to so recreate to the color. color it. Yeah, and we did it, but all, uh, only partly. In uh, those uh, scenes that, uh, at least in small fragments, survived in this uh, colored version, we put this colored back. But those scenes that uh, entirely were uh, preserved only in black and white uh, version, we left them black and white because we were not 100% sure what color should be used in this part. Well, extremely interesting. And as I can imagine, also it's a lot of work in archives and thinking it through. So uh, what would you recommend for like modern audience if they take this movie, if they watch it? Why should they watch it and how did, should they approach it? It's very interesting because it's one of the oldest Polish existing movies that exist, that survived uh, in whole version, because many movies are uh, preserved only partly, only some fragments survived to, till our times. The Call of the Sea is one of the oldest complete movies. And moreover, it's very modern. And I think that even for a uh, common today uh, audience, it could be interesting because we have some parts of drama, some parts of comedy, some parts of criminal, some romantic scenes. So I think that even the uh, adventure parts of this movie still can be interesting for modern audience. And if you, the audience of Poland Daily, consider yourself an expert in Polish movies, well, if you haven't seen The Call of the Sea from 1923, you have to do your homework and watch it because it seems to be one of the oldest Polish movie and also something very, very unique. And thank you very much for watching Poland Daily Culture.